Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading Scorpio, let's see, oh what messages will show up for you Scorpio, Scorpio this is a collective message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Betrayal, Dishonors and Anxiety, Scared we have as a side message for you Scorpio, Unexpected, lesson, lesson Learned, Done, someone is stressing out, mm. Someone who caused the, the tower moment here, Scorpio. But let's see. Let's see. This is a collective love message, Scorpio, for your sign. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation. So let's see, Scorpio. What do we have for you? Would you please show important messages for Scorpio? Love messages. We have someone is grieving this connection very regretful someone is very regretful here that we are connecting for you Scorpio celebration happiness okay what else we have for Scorpio please mm -hmm. okay so we have silent waiting connection communication Mm -hmm. confession justice negotiator at the bottom of the deck here Scorpio we have so what I'm getting very strongly from these cards is that there might be a no contact situation between you and someone who might have been very close to your heart Scorpio we have silent waiting pause it's like a something it's something stopped I feel that this situation made you feel sad, but equally this person is grieving this connection. However, what I'm getting very strongly also with this cast, we have celebration, happiness, Scorpio and connection communication. Things will change. Things will change uh, quite drastically, I would say it, because we have this energy here of silence waiting, pause, no communication, being sad and suddenly we have celebration, happiness and communication and connection. So things will change. Things will change when it comes to this particular situation, connection, Scorpio. For some of you, it might be a case that we are connecting here with someone who might have, um, with whom you might um, spoke with, um, during the last Mercury retrograde, okay? And maybe this person uh, went silent, you know, maybe they ghosted you here, or there is some sort of disconnect between the two of you. However, things are going to change because we have celebration, communication, it's coming, confession and justice. You might be dealing with Libra, I also have strong Gemini energy, okay? This person here, um, they are very unhappy at the moment, Scorpio, and I feel they come and they will try to talk to you or talk with you, and I'm getting this kind of energy of them even. We have begging. Someone really wants to change uh, current situation. There's some sort of form of confession is coming as well, and I feel that you'll be, the whole situation finally, will be treated with justice and fairness okay so let's see let's let's see what tara will tell us scorpio about this situation could you pl please show more about scorpio's situation with this person we have a three of swords but it kind of <laughs> flew uh, in a reverse position i don't take reversals okay but what i'm seeing this particularly wanted to show that way we'll take it that way i'm seeing here overcoming a heartbreak and overcoming um mm, uh, it's heartbreak and um heartache it's like an energy of healing it's showing up with this card breakup that's what i wanted to say 
things going to change. Because in an upright position, this card represents sadness, a breakup, heartbreak, uh, emotionally painful situation. But spirit want us to take it that way, then we'll take it that way. Therefore, situation will change. Okay, let's see. What else we have for Scorpio, please? Five of Cups. Someone is full of regret. Someone is grieving this connection. This person here, Scorpio, with the Five of Cups. We have the Moon. You might be dealing with Pisces. Scorpio, we have the Sun. So clarity is coming. Moon represents uncertainty, lack of clarity, that kind of energy that we can't fully see or see the bigger picture. But next to it, we have sun. And sun is this beautiful energy that puts light on everything. Therefore, clarity is coming. Something that you might feel uh, not being fully sure about. Or if, you felt, if, if you are feeling certain uncertainty, for instance, with regards to the situation, the sun is here, uh, which essentially it's showing that uh, things will get better. This is the nicest and the, the most, one of the most beautiful cards in the reading. It's always beautiful omen to have sun in a reading there and next to the moon it's like something here will come to the light clarity will be gain okay you might be dealing with leo what else we have for scorpio with regards to the situation please we have the two of wands a king of swords we have the death card, card number 13. So you may be dealing with another Scorpio, Scorpio. And I also have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and we have a three of pentacles. Yes, something here ended between the two of you, between you and this person. This person here really wants to talk with this King of Swords. But I e equally feel that um, this person also kind of a, Again, it might be a case that they suddenly ended this connection, something here ended. And now I feel they are full of regret with the Five of Cups. With the Two of Wands, this is someone who is planning how to come forward in order to talk about this painful ending. And with the Three of Pentacles here, Scorpio, this is someone who will tell you that they want to be a team player and they want to work on this situation okay so let's see this person's feelings could you please show me this person's feelings towards scorpio could you please show me this person's feelings towards scorpio we have a hierophant we have a uh, judgment so indeed you might be dealing with another scorpio scorpio but we also have taurus energy with this hierophant one more please how this person's feelings towards scorpio please this person's feelings towards Scorpio. Well, we have more than one. We have this Knight of Cups and we have the Empress. We have a King of Pentacles and we have an Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, it may be someone uh, from your workplace. It doesn't have to be. But this is what I was getting. This person here feels that uh, they need to come with a certain offer here in order for you, in order for you even want in, in order for you even uh, want to listen to what they want to say to you. You know what I mean? They feel that they need to bring a solid offer. They see you here, Scorpio, as this beautiful divine feminine energy, male, female. It's just an energy represented by this beautiful card. But again, this is another wonderful, wonderful omen to have in a reading signed. The Empress... This is energy of growth, expansion, love, creativity. I'm getting very strongly here, Scorpio, that this person, um, this is someone who really wants to put some sort of effort with regards to this situation. And they know that they need to do it in order to have a chance to talk with you because you are showing up here in this beautiful Empress energy. 
you minding your own business, you, you, you looking good, you know, you might be getting lots of attention. This is someone who puts you on a pedestal. You might be dealing with, indeed, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, and other Scorpio. This is someone who feels that they need to prove themselves. They need to prove that they care if they want to be given a chance uh, to be with you, given a chance, of course, by you. In day feelings, we have a hierophant, we have a judgment, and we have a knight of cups. Hmm. This is someone who is thinking about you because we have your energy here with this judgment card. So you, you are, this person is thinking about you uh, non-stop, I'm getting very strongly here, Scorpio. This is someone who wants to be given another chance. This person ha has feelings for you, Scorpio. If you've been wondering if, if, if they ever care, yes, they do care with the Knight of Cups. In their emotion, ex excuse me, this is someone who cares, who wants to bring some sort of, um, make a peace offering, apologize, express feelings. They want to reach out. With the judgment, they want to resurrect here. It looks to me, Scorpio, that this person, like, um, mm, that this feelings, I don't know how to say it, but it's like, they, with the judgment card it's, card, it's like this person is having a wake up call. They, they're starting to realize that they truly care. You know, and we have Hierophant and the Judgment. This is very, very spiritual kind of combination of cards as well. This is essentially like a wake up call, awakening. This person wants to um, resurrect this connection with the Hierophant. They want to have a higher level of commitment with you. But they are heavily focusing on you here, Scorpio. How this person sees Scorpio, please? They really want to talk <laughs> so what do we have we have the we have the the emperor we have a six of swords we have the two of pentacles we have a six of wands we have a ten of swords and we have a um, page of pentacles they sees you uh, in your power you know with this Interesting enough, we had the Empress and now we have the Emperor. So we have like a match, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. They see you as someone very reliable, very loyal, and also someone who is taking back control. You are getting lots of attention here, Scorpio. This is their perception. And with the Two of Pentacles, Six of Swords, yes, and Ten of Swords, I'm getting very strongly that this person is suspecting that you might... Uh, kind of detached, walked away, or that it's essentially over for you with regards to this connection with the Ten of Swords. Because Ten of Swords here s signifies that indeed this person might have betrayed your trust and there was an emotionally painful ending between the two of you. And this person is aware of this, what they have done here. With the Two of Pentacles, this person sees you as someone who is very flexible, who is very adaptable, very smart, um, but also who has options and who is getting lots of attention. Page of Pentacles. For some of you, might be children might be involved, you know. But I'm getting also very strongly that um, this is someone who is aware that they caused some sort of form of a damage when it comes to this connection. And they see that because of what they might have done here, represented by the Ten of Swords, it might be quite difficult for them to come forward because you are showing up in this beautiful emperor energy, that's taking back control, knowing exactly what you want. And with the Six of Wands, this person sees you as you are getting lots of attention. It's like you, you are successful or it's like you are very lucky and you have options. This person doesn't want to lose 
an opportunity here with you. You might be dealing with Aries, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see how, how the situation will develop. Let's see. Could you please show me the outcome for this situation, please? Scorpio with this person. Scorpio with this person. We have a seven of swords. Outcome, please. The situation. Outcome, please. We have a Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. we, we have also we we have also Ten of Wands and Page of Wands. You can expect uh, Scorpio, this person, to reach out. They are thinking here how to what to say. Uh, how to reach out how, and when they would reach out what they are thinking essentially what to say what to tell you because they know that they caused emotional upheaval here this person will reach out we have a knight of wands and we have a page of wands this is very action orientated energy this person will take an action this is someone who wants to sneak in back to your life scorpio and with the ten of wands they will do it for sure why? Because it's too much for them emotionally. This is someone who's overwhelmed by their emotions. So you can expect you can expect here indeed some sort of form of communication from this person. And we have communication with this card. Confession. Justice. I feel that it will make you feel happy. Because something here will be clarified. But 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 also this is someone who essentially wants to sneak back to your life because it's too much. They are overwhelmed by the emotions. They don't want to lose an opportunity with you. And they do want to some, some kind of, I don't know, some sort of form of negotiation is coming, coming forward very strongly. It's like this person, it's, it's, it's I don't know, in despair with this begging energy. And I have this five of cups here. They do want to reach out. And I feel that this person will reach out, Scorpio, very, very soon with the wants energy. This is action orientated. Yes, this is like action. So we can expect fairly soon, Scorpio, this person to reach out to you in order to, uh, to talk to you and to talk about this connection. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you, Scorpio. Once again, thank you very much for being with me. And have a fantastic and wonderful day. Take care. Bye.